Moving to the next question, question number 21. Which of the following statements is not correct for a nucleophile? It means we have to find out the incorrect statement for nucleophile. The first statement is nucleophile attack low electron density sites. That is true. Nucleophiles are nucleus loving species. So they are attracted by low electron density site. Second statement is nucleophiles are not electron seeking. That too is correct statement because nucleophiles are either negatively charged or they are having lone pair electron. The third statement is nucleophile is a Lewis acid. That is the incorrect statement. Nucleophiles are always Lewis base because either they are having negative charge or they are having lone pair of electron. The fourth statement is ammonia is a nucleophile. It is true because nitrogen is having a lone pair electron in the ammonia. So in this question, the correct answer should be third option. Moving to the next question, question number 22. A gas such as carbon monoxide would be most likely to obey the ideal gas law at first option high temperature, high pressure, second option low temperature and low pressure, third option high temperatures and low pressures, fourth option low temperatures and high pressure. As we know all the gases are real gases. So carbon monoxide is also a real gas. But all the real gases behaves like an ideal gas when pressure is low and temperature is high. So in the given option we have to see in which option low pressure and high temperature is given. First option, second option, third option high temperature and low pressure. So this is the condition at which carbon monoxide behaves like an ideal gas. It means the correct answer should be the third option. Next question, question number 23. The hybridization involved in the complex is Atomic number of nickel is given and four options are given D2SP2, D2SP3, DSP2 and SP3. Here the complex given one is an ion. Complex ion. Now see in this complex only four ligands are attached to nickel. It means coordination number of this complex is four. So there will be only two possibility, either this complex will be sp3 hybridized or it is dsp2 hybridized. So first two options should be ruled out. Now in these two options we have to select which one is correct. So first of all we will apply valence bond theory, ground state electronic configuration of nickel. 28 this is 3d orbital valential 4s orbital this is 4p orbital 28 it means 8 electrons are present in 3d orbital and valential is having 2 electron in this complex, nickel is present in plus 2 state. So nickel plus 2, it means 2 electrons are removed from the outermost shell. This S orbital becomes vacant. P orbital is already vacant. D orbitals having 8 electron. Now see the nature of ligand. Here cyanide ion behaves as a strong filled ligand. And a strong filled ligand it means pairing of electron in d orbitals can take place. So in d 
presence of cyanide ion the pairing of electron in this three orbital will take place and one of the d orbital becomes vacant this s orbital is vacant 4p orbitals are vacant 1 2 3 4 these are occupied orbital 1d 1s and 2p orbitals participate in hybridization so hybridization should be dsp2 hybridization it means in these two options the correct answer should be dsp2 hybridization so correct answer is second option